Did you know copyright protects most works of visual arts, such as original pictorial, graphic, and sculptural works? It even protects two- and three-dimensional works of fine, graphic, and applied arts. Some examples of visual arts may be obvious, such as a painting, photograph, or sculpture. But others may be less so, including aspects of board games, advertisements, and jewelry. In this video, we'll discuss what works of art copyright protects, what it means to be a copyright owner, and how you can register your work with the U.S. Copyright Office. To be protectable by copyright, a work of visual art must meet a few standards. One, a person or group of people must have independently created the work. An author must have created the elements of the work to claim copyright ownership over those elements. For example, if an artist creates a collage using public domain photos and photos the artist took, the artist owns the copyright in the whole collage and the original photos, but not in the public domain photos. There is no age restriction on a copyright owner. If a child creates a copyrightable drawing, they own the copyright. Also, possession of artwork does not make you the copyright owner. Two, the work must contain a sufficient amount of creativity. What matters is the degree of creativity, not the aesthetic appeal of the work, because registration doesn't depend on a work being good art. The office makes no aesthetic judgment when reviewing applications. Standard shapes, designs, and colors do not have enough creativity to be copyrightable alone. And three, the author must have fixed the work in a tangible medium, such as a photograph, sculpture, or painting. Copyright does not protect ideas, so the concept for a work of art is not copyrightable. Objects that have a useful purpose, such as a shirt, lamp, or chair, are not protected by copyright. However, a separable artistic feature of a useful article, like a design on a shirt or a pattern on a chair, could be protected. The author of a copyright-protected work is the copyright owner, unless there is a written transfer of ownership. Owners have several exclusive rights, allowing them to control how they or others use the work. No one else can use the work in these ways unless they have permission from the owner, or if their use falls under one of the exceptions and limitations described in the Copyright Act. For example, if their use is a fair use or a protected educational use. For more information, please see our video on exclusive rights. Although not required, registering your visual artwork with the U.S. Copyright Office gives you important benefits, such as creating a public record of your ownership. Timely registration may also give you the ability to seek certain remedies in cases of infringement. Registering your work or receiving a refusal is required to bring an infringement claim or U.S. work. To apply for registration, you need to submit a completed application form, a non-refundable filing fee, and a copy or copies of the work, known as a deposit. For some works of visual art, an image of the work is an acceptable deposit and can be submitted electronically. All creative elements of the artwork must be visible in the deposit. For example, if you are registering a sculpture, you must provide images of all perspectives of the sculpture. Depending on the work, you may have a few application options. The most common is the standard application, which allows you to register one work per application and filing fee. The office also has several group registration options for specific works. With these, you can submit one application and filing fee for multiple works if you meet certain eligibility requirements. These include the group registration for unpublished works used for up to 10 unpublished works and group registration for photographs applications. To learn more about the criteria for these applications and other group registration options, visit copyright.gov. And for more information about the copyright concepts mentioned in this video, check out the rest of our Learning Engine series.